Good morning, Microhousers. This is Kevin Coy from the Micro House Project, and I'm doing a follow-up video to the window framing video I did yesterday. And uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I got some feedback from some folks this morning that I think, uh, you know, they think that this is maybe a little bit advanced for them with, with the amount of understanding they already had. So I want to help give you a little bit more uh, different perspective, I guess. So I'm going to lay this thing out as I put it on. I just threw all the the uh, materials that you saw yesterday into my truck this morning and drove them over to the, the actual building site. And what I want to do is I'm going to lay these pieces out. And, and the reason I'm doing this is I want you to see that it's not that difficult and that, that really what it is is I'm trying to get the principles of framing uh, across to you so that you can, you know, this, this is going to be to this particular wall, but if you understand the theory and, and the principles behind framing the wall and framing the window, you can apply those to whatever wall that you're putting up or whatever project you're putting together and then just know that you can, you know, whenever you decide to put a window in a spot, this is how you figure out how to frame around that or a door, which we'll do on, on another video. So when we get done, you, you can apply this and it can be a wall that's 12 feet long, it can be a wall that's 20 feet long, it might be 8 feet long or tall or it might be 12 feet tall, it's, it doesn't really matter. It's the principles of the design elements that you need to understand in order to lay this out. And, and you know, make mistakes, it's okay, that's part of the learning. And, and in fact, you need to kind of fail your way to success by figuring out what doesn't work and then what you got left is you distill that down to what does work. And so, I may, I, when I built this wall, I did not have a plan to follow. And, and I've done this a lot, so that's, that's something I can do because I have those principles. And so, in my head, I decided this is how I'm going to lay this wall out. And then I had to figure out what the measurements were going to be to go around that window. And the, and the reason I can do that is because I have those principles of framing in my head. And that's what I want to make sure you understand so that empowers you to be able to be confident enough to go out and build this. But by all means, I've got about, you know, 45 or $50 worth of framing uh, lumber laying here that we're going to look at and you know go down to the hardware store this weekend this is your homework assignment go buy you know a dozen studs and bring them home and just get familiar with it if you want to build this exact wall that's fine do it as your practice wall or use it in your house when you when you get to it um, and and you'll be able to you know I'll give you all the measurements for this particular wall if you want to if you want to put this wall together yourself but more importantly if I give you these measurements and you decide to get a different size window that's going to rearrange some of the cuts a little bit, but it's not going to uh, change the, the, the framing formula, if you will. And so the formula is what I'm trying to get you to uh, you know, understand. So here we go. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking out my top plates and my bottom plates. And we, we saw those yesterday. I've already measured them so that I know where my stud placements are going to be. So all, And they're identical because I laid them next to each other when I did that. So all I need to do now is move them 8 feet apart, which is right around there. Okay. Top plate, bottom plate. Now when I'm framing, I'm going to stand this wall up this way. It's this back wall right here. So I want to put the top of the wall down there, so that when I get done framing, I'm just tipping this thing up on the edge of the wall here and nailing it into place. And so these uh, top plates and bottom plates are 89 inches long, and if you notice, the, the, the floor here is 8 feet wide. This wall is going to sit inside of these longer walls that are going to be this wide on the floor, standing up. So this wall is going to be set to here, and likewise, I've got a three and a half inch gap that's short of that, so that wall on this side is going to sit right here. So what these are are 93 inch framing studs that I cut down when I set those between these two plates. They make up 8 feet, or 96 inches. So all I'm doing here is I'm going to put my two end studs on, one on each side. 
Okay. So this is going to give me a square. And uh, that's the first thing. Okay. Now you got a square. So 16 inches over from here, not from here, but from the outside of the wall, goes my next stud to make me 16 inches on center. All right? So these are all the same length, 93 inches. I'm laying this one in. Again, this is, this is 16 inches from over here. And then I need another 16 inch right here. And another 16 inch right here. Okay, if you were just building a wall right now with no window, all you need is one more 16 inch stud, or 16 inch on center stud, I should say. That would go right there. There's your wall, eight by almost eight because I'm giving room for the outside walls and uh, these are 16 inches apart all the way across. You can nail those down, stand it up and you got a wall. But we're not doing that. Because we're making a window. So instead, this is the center. I'm just going to move it right over here as my king stud like we talked about in the other video, and uh, that's going to be on the outside edge of my window that I want to stick right here in the middle. That's where I determined I wanted to put it. Okay, It's the same length. It's still 93. And I need one on each side of that window, so here's another one. And that's my, my two king studs right here, okay? These are my jack studs, or trimmers is the other word that you use to, to uh, call that particular piece. And what they're going to do is <coughs> support the header. So the header is actually a 2x6 material, and I'm putting two of them in there, that gives a good strong because I'm framing and carrying that wall weight around that window so it's not bearing down on it. So that sits right in there and I need two of them and two of these an inch and a half thick each are going to be three inches but the wall depth of a two by four is three and a half. So I just took a piece of scrap half inch OSB that I had laying around and I'm going to stick them in there make a little sandwich and lay that one on top. Now I'm level on both sides with the outside edge of this and that's what I want to do is, is have that nice and level across there so that when I go to sheet I can uh, pound those in. So what are my measurements? The trimmers are 77 and a half, okay? These are the cripples underneath the window. They're 45 and 3 eighths. And if you don't know how to use a tape measure, I'll do a video on that for you. But they're going to go right here. And then one in the center because that's 16 inches coming across. All right. So here's the sill plate, which is going to sit on top of these triples. And it's 21 inches. That's the <coughs> excuse me, the outside uh, dimension of the framing that I want to put together here. Scoot these over a little bit. Okay, they just sit right there. The headers pieces are two feet, 24 inches. Okay. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to stick these little cripples up here, supporting that. There's my center again. Okay. And these are uh, 10 inches. So that's all your, your framing and how it lays out. 
The only thing you need to do now is nail it all together. And uh, I'll give you a close up here. These are, let me get the sunshine right. These are uh, 16 penny framing nails, sinkers they call them. They're coated, they got a kind of a green. I don't know if that picks up on the film. And then you're just going to pound two or three of these, boom, 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 right there, and, and catch that. Pound three, two or three right here on the top of this all the way across. You're going to put those nails in. One, two, three. Do the same thing on the bottom. And uh, nail them down across the top of here. Okay. And everything comes together nice and neat. Before you put that stud in, nail through here to hit your headers with these nails. And you got a wall, and then you can stand it up. I'll uh, put all the still shots of this in progress up on uh, the project site, and I'll see you next time.